guys and welcome to my youtube channel in my last video tutorial we took a bit further on the excel server tools in solving another optimization problems using linear programming which help to solve more complex decision making problems okay in today's video tutorial we are going to take a look at another one inside of microsoft excel called data tables okay Microsoft Excel is full of so many different powerful robust tools, the Go, Seek, and the Excel Server tools. We have just done just two of these during my last video tutorial. Okay, data tables are one of the existing part of what if analysis tools. Okay, which allow you to observe your result by experimenting it with different alternative values of variables and to compare the outcome stored by the data tables okay microsoft Excel, through the use of a data table we will essentially take these alternatives and stick them into the formula by recalculating it for us okay open in front of you i have got sample that i am going to be demonstrating here i am currently on the data table tab I have got simple little table with three values here, which is the loan amount, the interest rate, and well, the terms a month. Now, right below is a simple little table. I have got a list of alternatives pertain stage right here which are 4.25, 4.50, 4.75, 5.2, 5.2, and so on. So, what I like to do here is, I want to know what my monthly payment is going to be based off of these three values here, which is the loan amount, the interest rate, and the term, which is the 400,000, 4%, then in 340 months okay but also i want to know what that payment will be like if i vary the percentage rate okay well we are we can create the formula that figure out the monthly payments which i uh, which are the the one two three four five six seven eight right here different times or we can use the little table right here okay that i have i have right here from the b8 down to uh, c16 okay at a data table and as a we do it all for us just take a look okay inside of a zero there are two different type of data table there is a single variable data table which means you have got a single set of alternative okay or we also have a two variable data table where you can do two different set of alternative value into a formula okay the example that i have here is a single variable data table now with a single variable data table it has to be set up in a very specific way the very first column okay and the data table has to be your list of what alternative values in, in our own case it is in in this percentage rate okay and the second column and the first row is where your formula that is the, your original formula is going to be placed and below is where it will calculate all for you automatically based on this alternative and that original value okay so my first step i have got the table set up already and my second step is that i want to know what my monthly payment is going to be be based of these three values right here which is a four hundred thousand at four percent and three around 40 equal payment using the pmt function to calculate 
my monthly payment okay this has been treated in inside the Excel go seek class okay in my previous video tutorial i'm going to do that right here again okay first click on the the say that you actually want the output to to come out so i'm going to go to my formula tab right up here okay then i'm going to go to financial okay then i will find pmt okay i'm going to look for pmt okay i've seen it okay so give it a click now which is called the payment function okay it takes a handful of argument from us to be filled into the boxes here but i'm going to use the three of them these are the three required ones right here and the first one is the one the rate which is the percentage okay this is in the cell c3 right here basically and interest rate is an apr that is the annual percentage rate so i'm going to divide here and here by 12 okay i'm going to divide this by 12 by saying uh, by saying c3 divided by 12 okay good in the second one here which is what the the number of payments so i'm going to grab the term month right here okay which is one the 340 okay and the third one is a pv which is the present value which is what the 400,000 okay i'm going to grab it that is all now i'm going to go ahead and eat on what my okay button wow that is it so roughly i have a thousand 96.21 is what i'm going to be paying on monthly for a loan of what 400,000 at an interest rate of 4 percent for the next 3 and 14 months okay now i'm going to put a negative hmm, sign in front of the that pmt okay i'm going to put a negative sign there okay good just to turn these into a positive value when you use the payment function it takes the outcome of the formula that turn a negative 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 essentially you are withdrawing this money to make this payment but i'm going to make it possible all right so roughly now i have 1968.21 as my monthly payment based on the world the 400,000 loan at for a 4% interest rate for the next 340 month now i'm going to set that right here okay i'm going to say that monthly payment right here that is the 1968.21 here in the cell c8 by entry the equal sign then i'm going to pick the cell c5 right here and hit on my words enter key button okay all right so now i have got my single variable data table set up first the column the alternative the column alternative that is the 4.25 4.50 4.475 and so on and in the second column being the formula right here and down below as there is going to fill in the rest for me this is very simple process okay here the first step is to actually convert this into a data table firstly i will select the table from b8 okay down to c16 okay b8 down to 16 okay then i'm going to go to my data tab right up here then navigate to my data tool you can see it then then i'm going to look for what if analysis then click on what data table now remember that i mentioned earlier that there are two different type of data tables a single variable data table where you got a single set of alternative and 
a two variable data table where you can do two set of alternative how is a single variable data table and in my home case i'm going to make use of the the column input right here in the data table option and what this essentially means it give and take the this column of alternative rate and place it into this four percent area where our formula is going to be well going in uh, formula is, uh, is looking or where a formula is getting its percentage rate from that is okay that is this uh, c3 right up here okay so for my column input say we will take this column here okay and we are going to click on the cell c3 okay so for the input say make sure the cell c3 is there and enter the OK button okay and that is it I am done as I has taken my simple little table here with list of alternative that has formulas and through a little bit of that and it calculates all the alternative payments for all really simple anytime you have got a setup such as what if I put this value in there or what if I put this value in there or what if I put this one or this one this or this one we can build a simple table and list up list out this alternative and having as a calculate all of those alternatives for all just try it out thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as I'll keep giving you more of the Excel function bye